somebody is upset that I don't care about animals. Today is another one of those videos where I reach out to someone who's heaps and bounds more popular than I am in the hopes that maybe miraculously I might reach them or at least some of their audience. And today it's about Asmon Gold. Asmon Gold is a popular streamer. Oh. He's known for his gaming and his more mature takes on things. And I'm so hoping... true. So true. Absolutely. I think that with his maturity, I could shed light on something that in the future will definitely be seen as more of an atrocity than it is today. Okay. There's two videos I saw by Asmund Gold that kind of raised my eyebrows. One of them was like a stream clip where he was with Maya, who's like a wildlife conservationist yes. who has talked badly of veganism before. I've done a video on her before and I will link that down below. Boys, uh, today we have a very, very- This, this was actually so fucking fun. Uh, I remember whenever we did this, I had so much fucking fun doing this. Special part of the show. Today, we are going to be taking a look at some real life animals. No longer in game, in real life. We're here with Maya. And I like how Jenny's just standing there. And she's like, uh huh, yeah, true, uh huh, yeah. She had no fucking idea what was going on. Yeah, <laughs> look at it. It's just awkwardly standing there. Also, her friend, and they're going to be showing us a number of these wild animals. And I am. Honestly, guys, I'm I'm really I'm really excited for this. And he is an eastern fox squirrel. Wow! I can't believe it. It's a real squirrel, and he's in the house. So this is a guy. Because usually they don't get in the house. Yeah, usually they don't get they don't get in the house. Like, cause it's just no. It's like cause I could get one. Like, I could get like this close to the squirrel, but he would not let me pet him, man. To have an incredible interest in animals, he seems to want to respect yeah, them or cute. care for them. You know, at least understands that they are these individuals, yeah. and you know they're at risk and need to be cared for. Then the other video that drew my attention to the problem was oh. a recent video where he was cooking up a steak. <laughs> so, <laughs> yep. So I've wanted to do this for a while. A lot of people have asked for it, and we're finally going to do it. Today, I'm going to show you all how I cook a steak. There it, it is. It's really interesting how on here we board, go. The problem is the steak. Let's do it. Oh, he has a horse and like a calendar. I do wonder how he'd feel if that steak were comprised of a body of one of those horses or maybe the horse in that picture. Would it make- Well, I've eaten McDoubles from McDonald's. So I've probably already eaten horse meat. This was a calendar for my mom. It's not my calendar. Yeah, I'd eat a horse. Sure. If it tasted good. Why wouldn't I? It tastes good. Maybe make him feel some different type of way. Or better yet, maybe if that were the corpse of a Rottweiler or some dog. Or if it were comprised of the bodies of some of the animals he had a chance to interact with. Would My dad used to hunt squirrels and kill them and eat them. Back in the, back in the old days. Yeah, because they, they didn't have a lot of money back then, and uh, whenever he was growing up. So, uh, yeah, he used to hunt down the, them little fuckers and, and just get them and eat them. Same with rabbits and shit, too. He feels somewhat differently. <laughs> I understand that this is something that we see as very normal, very necessary, something that's just kind of part of life. Oh, it's not necessary. It's just that steaks are good. Yeah, that's about it. They're delicious. I love steaks. If they weren't good, I wouldn't eat them. Do you want to know why I don't eat pork chop? Is because I think steaks are better. Every pork chop I eat is a steak I don't eat. Why would I ever eat a pork chop? But if we genuinely take the time to think about it, <laughs> there is no relevant moral difference between these animals and the animals who you would value that would mean some of them you can just kind of slip. Well, of course there are. It's because it's your cat. Maybe this is going to be a hot take. I don't care if people eat cats or dogs or not. It doesn't bother me at all. Yeah, you eat a dog, it's fine to me. What's wrong with that? It's a dog. You eat the dog. Now, I've heard dogs don't taste good. 
So I don't want to eat a dog. They don't taste good. Cats probably taste like shit. They smell like shit. They they eat their own ass. Of course they, they smell like shit, right? I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat that. But no, I, I got no problem with that. Yeah. You know they used to. Uh, you know them little cute guinea pigs. They used to put them on a stick and and uh, and eat them, fry them up. Ain't that crazy? their throats you can bulk gun them in they the head do. yeah hell yeah what brother you want to them in order to make a steak out of them yeah but i do take pictures of every single steak that i cook yes i do i cook the exact same steak every single time here i'll show you guys some of them this is a steak that i made uh that's one steak right there as you guys can see uh, there's a steak. It was a delicious, absolutely a, a delicious fucking steak. It's really, really good. And uh, I remember eating this one. This was a good fucking steak. And then, uh, let's see, probably have some more over here. Let's see, where's another one? It's got to scroll all the way down. Oh, this is another thing that I ate. It was also meat, though, that I made. Uh, where's the other fucking steaks? Got to find some more. Oh, here's another one right here. This is uh, another picture of a steak. Uh, so this steak is a, uh, I cooked this, uh, it was a good steak. And I remember it was so good, I took a picture of it because it was a, that was a, it was a good fucking steak, man. That's a good one? Yeah, I thought so too. Uh, this is about where, I, oh, this is whenever I got my teeth fixed. So like, there's probably not gonna be that many steak pictures for a little bit here, I think that. Oh, oh wait, no, never mind. Uh, so here's another picture. Uh, this again, uh, this is a picture of a steak. And uh, I cooked this steak right here. And uh, this is another really good steak. This is a d delicious, delicious, amazing steak. Uh, let's see. Do we have any more? Uh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, this was a big day. Uh, so this is actually whenever I cooked, uh, I cooked two steaks. So I had one steak right here. And then I had another steak that I would cook at, at the same time. I, I got two steaks. So, uh, yeah, like, well, they, they were kind of small. So I was like, I, like, I thought it was a pack of five. And it turned out it was like a... Uh, it wasn't it was like a pack of of uh of six and so i just cooked two of them together so yeah i'll take pictures of of like my steaks whenever i cook them like it, it, that wasn't like a joke this is what i'm saying like i wasn't joking around with this and i take a picture of it at the end that way i remember how good it was, it was it's so really good. weird how he's just kind of talking about the steak like it's an object yes and not a body part if he were taking a body part out of a fridge but it weren't from a cow and it were from like a dog or a cat then suddenly we'd view this very differently well not really because like so like what part of a chicken nugget is a chicken i have no idea but i know what a chicken uh, uh like uh legs and thighs are for a chicken a chicken wing we eat chicken wings all the time we eat chicken legs all the time you get a turkey breast and that's it because it's like you're eating it's not like it's a one piece of the animal you're eating that entire part of the animal like i'm i don't get uh I, I don't get any moral conundrums eating a chicken leg versus a chicken nugget it's the same thing except if it's a mcnugget from mcdonald's and those are pretty good or a spicy nugget from wendy's and the public response would be incredibly different. Hello, this is a more recent version of Vegan Gaze. Reporting in because I found a video by Asmund Gold talking on a, an instance where a streamer got a cat, threw them over a chair <laughs> and fed them yep. vodka. The kind of claim that I made about Asmund Gold caring about animals, I don't know with this clip, I feel like maybe mm. Other people should watch it in its full context. He didn't actually watch the video. But yes. he seemed more interested in the fact that people were probably mad about it because of who was doing it and not so much the thing being done itself. Absolutely. It was absolutely selective outrage with the Linity. I said it was ridiculous and misplaced. It was stupid. People got way too mad about that situation. I don't give a fuck. I didn't then. I don't now. I got hate for it then. Everybody agrees with me now. 
And though that is kind of true in a sense, people we dislike a lot more, we're, we're more motivated to call them out when they do something we don't like. I found no. it a bit weird he, he was quite nonchalant about the concept of an animal being harmed. And another thing that was kind of bizarre was that he pointed out that for him, the worst part is a double standard. That's the bit that gets to him most. If you threw a cat on stream and a fed of vodka, I would want you banned. Yeah, I, I'm sure. But like, the, I don't know. I just, I guess to me, this is like a weird thing. People are going to get mad about it. I don't care about this issue. I, I really don't. So, who I mean, you can, be, you can be mad about that or whatever, but I, I don't care about the issue. Yeah, who gives a uh, fuck? I think people only really, like, the only thing I would be worried about is, like, a double standard. He even then points out that some people, you know, people will love there animals was... and then they'll eat some, but he's one of those people. If you, if you want to say that, right, I think that people should at least be consistent and say that, you know, okay, well, I don't like any animal abuse. But I don't know. To me, as I said, it just seems like people only care about animal abuse whenever it's an animal that they think is cute. Right, and I think that's true. I'm right. I'm 100% right. I'm right again. People only care about animal abuse whenever it's cute animals. Whenever the animals aren't cute, well, I mean, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, come on. Uh, they're fine eating other I'm ones. right. And, and obviously, like, the thing is that I, I don't really think that I'm probably the best, uh, the best person to base your morality off of. Another true. But um, I think people just care about the double standard more than anything. So he's engaging in a double standard, yet yeah, that seems to be the thing he's more focused on. <laughs> I think that this, this woman does not want to know the fact that it's not a double standard for me. It's actually not. When someone does something to an animal. I, I don't know. I, I don't give a fuck, to be honest. That's why I said before. You overestimate the amount of animal abuse going on? No, I, I don't think that I do at all. I think that all kinds of people do stupid shit like that to their animals. He oh, says, yeah. oh, yeah, loads of people do stupid stuff to animals. Well, yeah. <laughs> Maybe loads of people do bad things to animals. It doesn't make it okay just because loads uh -huh. of people do it. I found watching this quite uncomfortable. And I'm not really prepared to just say that he flat out doesn't really care about animals. Uh, you know, on this clip alone. Oh, I, it's not that I don't care about animals. It's that I care about people more than I care about animals. It's very simple. Yeah, that that's all. But it did make me feel a certain type of way about his concerns. Uh -huh. I don't really care, personally. It, it's not a big deal to me. Uh, it doesn't affect me. It has nothing to do with me. Yeah. And uh, that's basically all there is to it. Maybe I'm like a, uh, a weirdo for this, but I really just don't give a fuck. And I will say, yes, the double standard is frustrating. Okay, it is here we go. to be focused on. And it's something that you're also engaging in. So if you do have a, a problem with it, then <laughs> why are you, you know, eating a steak? Maybe he's taking... Because it tastes good. What are you, what the hell, what the hell are we talking about? Do we have to go back to square one? It's delicious, it's good. It's a good fucking stay. I, I don't understand, what is this? The feigned destiny position where he's acting like he just doesn't care about animals at all, therefore uh -huh. it's fine to exploit and kill them. But if he would go down that route, would it be fine to exploit and kill humans if you didn't personally care about them? I'm assuming you think- Well, I don't know, ask Nike humans should be treated or nestle treated a or amazon and way or mcdonald's does that align or walmart i can keep going <laughs> with other animals and if not what is the relevant moral difference that makes that distinction justified but overall public response is really not what's important what's important uh, is the the life of that individual themselves like why uh -huh. is it so awful you know to kill a dog for example you know an animal we don't really have to get defensive over because we don't include them in our meals that would be terrible you know to see cruel things happening to them like their life being taken from them or their well it's because people are empathetic to dogs because they have them as pets it's the same reason why a lot of people aren't into eating rabbits because rabbits are cute 
And you're like, oh, well, fuck. I, I don't want to eat a rabbit. That's a, that's a little cute little rabbit. But the thing is that, like, nobody, like, I, I've always thought, like, you're going to go and, and fucking uh, like a cow tipping or something like that to tip a cow over. Nah, bro, that's fucking, that's just as weird as beating up on a dog. Like, uh, yeah, that, that shit, that's weird as hell. Like, what are you doing going and just beating up on an animal for? It's just, it's just stupid. It's a waste of your fucking time. But you're going to eat a cow? That's fine with me. You eat a rabbit, that's fine too. And harmed in some sort of way. Why? Well, because they have their own lives. And those lives are theirs. They're not ours. And then they get reaped from them. Unfortunately, this- Well, I mean, then they're not theirs. If you can take it, it's not theirs, is it? Same is true for the up to trillion animals we kill every single year. We are talking about a number of mm -hmm. animals being decimated that we couldn't even physically conceptualize. Like, try and imagine a trillion of anything and then just imagine that they are individuals. I don't know if Asmund's ever explored this concept before. I do know that he kind of like hangs around in the destiny circle. So he might have do seen I? recently that destiny had a terrible debate with vegan gains where he performed perhaps the worst he's performed in a long time. It was that actually right? terrible. So hopefully if he were one of the people who caught that stream, no, I have not seen this. with him. But I'm so sure at this point, everyone in the kind of online circle, especially the circle that Asmund's part of, has explored this conversation, but maybe not to the degree that is needed. Because obviously if it's a social norm, then a lot of the time we aren't really expected to, and then we don't go to the lengths to explore it as much as we would need to in order to flesh out whether or not it's actually something that we need to change. However, I do think- Well, why would we need to change it if the, the, if the stakes are good? I think that you can make a strong argument for veganism if you use it as a, uh, like you use like the industry of, uh, you know, farming and like animal farming and shit like this. You use it as something that's damaging towards the climate or something like that. You, I think you can make that argument, but why would we ever shut it down just because it, it, it I mean, it, it, the stakes are good. Yeah. I mean, I don't understand like what, where's the pro like I, 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 am I mi am I missing something? Because a living animal is dying for your shit steak. Yeah. The, the, well, yeah, because you'd have to kill it to to get the steak. Yeah. That that's I mean that that's what it would have to yeah that's what it would happen yeah we would have to do that. Yeah, I mean, shit. I mean, of course. Morality reasons? Okay, so no reasons. Yeah, true. There is a need to change, because if this steak were a dog, I, I think you would probably have a huge problem with it. I yes, I would. Because it wouldn't taste as good. Yeah, it wouldn't it wouldn't taste as good. It would be it would be awful. It'd be uh, yeah, like why would I uh, yeah, why would I want to eat a steak from a dog if it doesn't taste good? I don't care if other people want to eat dogs. I think the only problem is whatever people want to eat your dog. This is Sparky. You've had Sparky for 8 years and some fucking neighbor comes over and wants to eat him. It's like fuck no. This is my goddamn dog. Like that's it. I I don't understand how this is a complicated subject. And you would see an imperative to sort that out mm -hmm. because, you know, if you don't sort it out, the result are dogs being killed. And is the problem right? is... The, the result is not that dogs are being killed because they don't taste good. That's the reason. Cow, can you really give a justification for why that cow mm -hmm. is so much less valuable that now they can have their entire existence well, It's taken? the opposite. The cow is that much more valuable because it tastes a lot better. The fuck are you talking about? It's a cow. Like, yeah, it's that they're more valuable for food. How are you going to cuddle with a cow on the sofa? It's too fucking big. So dogs are a lot easier to do that with. You can play fetch with it with a dog. I bet you can't play fetch with a cow. So each animal is good for different things.
taken from them because you wanted a specific dinner. I really yes. don't think you'll find it. And I really hope that Asmund or some of his people see this, people who watch him. It's very unlikely, but you know, I'm not gonna really get anywhere if I don't try at least. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you've ever watched Asmund Gold, if there's anything that he's ever kind of said pertaining to this topic, because I'm not so familiar with his work that I'm you know, completely aware of everything he might have said. He might have said some incredibly contradictory things or even at one point said that he's strongly considering veganism, but something is stopping him. Obviously, you gotta turn the bitch over. The reason why I don't do veganism is because it takes a lot of time to think about what you are and you're not gonna eat. And it's like, now I have to worry about like, oh fuck, like I'm not supposed to eat something. But like, if I wanna eat something, like I just wanna eat the thing that, that I wanna eat if it's good. But if I don't want, like, because then I have to worry about, like, fucking, like, oh, is this, like, a certain kind of cheese? Like, what am I, oh, so now you can't eat cheese now. Oh, my God. Like, I'm thinking about something that's not what I want to think about, which is titties and video games. So, like, every moment that I spend thinking about, like, did this come from an animal, uh, that's the time that I'm not thinking about video games. And, and so, like, why would I ever do that? It's not that, like, uh, in a perfect world, I wouldn't eat anything. Every time I have to eat, it is an inconvenience for me. I have to stop what I am doing to sit down and eat. I don't want to have to eat. I don't want to sleep. I, you just have to do these things. So if I'm going to do it, I might as well eat a steak because it cooks fast. It's like a 10-minute thing. It's done. Protein is good. Yeah. Trying to, uh, yeah, I'm not trying to make my life difficult for animals. Hey, yo, fuck them. Either way, like many other people... He is engaging in rights violations to animals and, you know, people don't... Well, that's not true because animals are not citizens. They are not in the... They do not have the Bill of Rights. Did Bessie sign the Constitution? Did Old Yeller sign the Constitution? Hmm? Did the Energizer Bunny sign the Constitution? Did the Geico Gecko sign the Constitution? No. No, they did not. See that because it's a social norm. And the more we talk about this and the more we kind of question the normality of this, <laughs> then the quicker the inevitable will change. And I think it will change because it's very uncommon for someone to come along genuinely and say that they just don't care about sentient lives whatsoever. And, you know, they're happy. Well, no, we care about it. We just care about the stakes more. So this is just like this weird fucking thing, right? It's that nobody can understand. It's not a contradictory statement. It's like if you're playing a card game and it's like three of a kind of fours is going to lose to three of a kind of fives. Because the fives are better than the fours. It's just that simple. For it to be infinitely killed and exploited. You know, for the will of others it's kind yes. of a weird thing for people to say so i i just well i'm a weird guy i think it will absolutely change it's just we need to speed up the process because the consequence of not doing so is too dire too too many anyway i do hope you're well, well I, I mean I, I don't think that's a very strong argument uh that we're in uh, you know uh committing rights violations against animals uh that that's it's not really a very strong argument i'm not convinced you can care about animals' welfare is to still consume his food. Don't want my chicken tendies to come from tortured chickens. What life they have doesn't have to be crap. Yeah, sure, and somebody else can deal with that. I personally don't care. Um, it, it, it's not that I don't care. It's that I care about other things more. So, like, in a world where I have the ability to care about uh, police brutality, um, homelessness, um, you, you, know, you know, like, human rights violations, stuff like that, like, and I, I'm like, nope. So what about these chickens? So how how are they how are they doing? How how are these how are these chickens how are they doing? What, what what's going on with these chickens here? We gotta we gotta solve this. And so yeah, supporting helmet veterans. Yeah, exactly.
And, and so, yeah, are they eating good? Yeah. Are they getting petted? Are we petting the chickens before we kill them? Uh, it, it, it's not that I don't care. It's that I just care about other things more. That's all. Thank you so much for watching. Please do smash like and leave a comment. And until next time, sad lads. I will see you soon. We'll see what some of the comments are on this. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, I, I, I can't I can't wait to see this. This is gonna be fucking amazing. It's a bad video to be honest. I think that you can I, I, I am not a person, by the way. I'm not a person somebody linked it to me, that's how I found it. Um I'm not a person who looks down and makes fun of vegans, okay? I'm totally fine with people that are vegans. I respect people that are vegans. It's their own life, it's their own decision. Yeah, I, I think it's totally fine. I've got nothing, nothing wrong with it. Animal rights don't make sense. Tell the crocodile that wildebeest have rights and see what happens. Bro, it, it, it you're not going to explain it to somebody like this. You're not going to get it. And even if they, the thing is, like, even if you agree that they do have rights, who gives a fuck? They still taste good. So, th there it is, bro. It's steak time. That, that's, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, no more steak videos. Oh, we're gonna have more of them now. The argument was dumb as fuck. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like... A fair amount of your chat is being legit. Um, so it's fine if I eat human meat? Um... Well, who is it? Who is it? Yeah, okay, Jeffrey, chill. Oh, that was the guy that ate people? I forgot who that was. Let's see, you're trying to critique the habits of a millionaire that eats $2 steaks cooked in the most garbage way possible and gets excited for spicy nuggets to come back at Wendy's. A man who took a bite out of a salad and had an expression like he'd just watched someone die. True. Asthma reminds me so much of my childhood. Living in a hoarder house with a diet of 80% soda, 10% McDonald's nuggets, and 10% steaks. I don't know how to explain exactly how much my narrow palate makes only eating rice and beans and vegetables easier, but it's incredibly difficult to get accustomed to fiber. Asmongold wouldn't give a fuck if the steak was a horse. I'm sure he'd be excited because it's unusual. Thank God I found my boy. Scrolling through the vegan game members in the comment section, people are delusional as fuck. For real, point out the delusion. Yeah, exactly. I watch him a lot, and the thing, and it, and is the thing that brought me here. I was wondering why he chose him out of all major league people to do it, because I watch videos and react to them probably, maybe. Uh, I have no idea. I chose him because he has an audience. I want to reach an audience, people who brought an audience to pursue the action, not just him, but I make a video of doing it. Yeah, a social norm doesn't mean something is right. If it's a social norm to publicly execute people in the Western world at one point, uh, yeah, it's possible and requires an explanation uh, whenever the outcome is exploiting and killing some. Yeah. Um, that's, that's correct. Another thing, he is disgusted by vegetables. To be honest, I was repulsed by vegetables two years ago into veganism. Actually, super easy to avoid ve uh, veggies. Common Asmongold W. Let me see if there's any more of these. Yes. So anyway, uh, because of our video, I will eat a steak tomorrow. Well, here's the thing, right? A comment's piss her off? No, I, I don't really care. Like, she, she's entitled to her opinion, right? Uh, same as I am. Uh, that, that's just the way it, that's the way it goes. And this is kind of what I was saying earlier in the stream, is like, it doesn't really matter what other people's opinions of you are. Because you can still do whatever you want, regardless of if people are okay with it or not. And I think that's one of the greatest things about uh, about streaming. It's one of the greatest things about being alive and, you know, being on the internet. Is that you can have whatever opinion you want. I mean, outside of, you know, denying that COVID is real. Um, but other than that, uh, you know, you can say the moon landing's fake and everybody's okay with it. So, um, the thing is, like... Anybody can have their opinion. Like, I don't get mad. Like, she didn't make it personal, really. Like, it, this is a fine video. I don't care if people disagree with me on this. It's totally okay. Why would I get, uh, why would I be um, unsaid about it? These same people that are super pro-abortion rights. Ask them to define life. Ask them how they get stuck in their pro-abortion argument. Yeah, well, luckily, um, we don't have those moral conundrums here. Okay? 
Yeah, luckily th this is not a problem for us over here at um uh fucking Asmongold TV and uh, Zach Rar TV. It's not not going to be a concern. Forgot it runs close to PC Kaka Balls Company. Was she okay? Yeah, sure. On uh, like this perfect world, we wouldn't have to uh we wouldn't have to be lost to eat meat. Bamboozled how chat is toxic being towards her. A little uncalled for. Well, the thing is, if you want to call the this is the reality, right? If you want to fucking call somebody out and assert yourself as a moral authority to tell them how they need to live their life, now you have now that you are invading their personal space and you are saying you need to do what I want you to do because I believe it's the right thing, then people are going to fucking take offense to that because they don't want to be told what to do. It's just what I've said before. So yes, of course people don't like being told what to do by some random fucking person. Who cares? People do the same thing with me all the time. It's just what happens. There are livestock farm animals. Uh, why does that bring the weak argument that you won't eat a dog? She's searching for attention. Why is she addressing larger audiences? Well, she's trying to get her message out. I don't really care. I, I don't know. I think it's good content, right? Like, I don't care about any of this other stuff, man. And uh, depend let's not forget that Asmogold said depends on the human to eat them. Hey, you know, hey, there's some people. Listen, there was one guy. <laughs> I think this is guy is like in like uh, China, Japan, or something like that. He uh, he killed he killed this girl, and he went to uh, to literally eat her ass. And it turned out that it didn't taste good, so he had to eat other parts of her body instead. Was it Japan? Yeah, that's, yeah, it's fucking Japan. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah. I mean, there's plenty of crazy shit that happens. I remember I watched the video on my stream. Uh, let's see here. And uh, what's this here? Uh, Asmogold, in my opinion, is a lost cause. He doesn't care about people in the way that most do, nor their opinion. I watch his content only to see his reactions to other YouTubers because he's intelligent enough to have a good perspective on situations. Well, that's quite a compliment. Yeah, that, that's, that's what, a, what a great compliment. 